Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. This portion of the news is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment. 775-751-7100. Welcome back to News 46. Now let's join Deanna O'Donnell with your news across Nevada. Employment in Nevada is projected to increase by 2% or 23,000 jobs in 2013. And the state is expected to gain another 26,000 jobs in 2014 and 30,000 jobs in 2015. However, employment will likely remain below the peak levels achieved in 2007 for several more years. To put this in perspective, Nevada lost almost 200,000 jobs from peak to trow, 100,000 of which were construction jobs. In 2006, at peak levels of employment, construction represented 11.2% of the total workforce. In 2012, that share stood at 4.6%. Construction is projected to see some growth over the next few years, with a gain of 4,600 jobs in 2013. It's expected to add 4,900 and 6,000 jobs in 2014 and 2015, respectively. However, in 2015, construction jobs will still be at 75,000 below the pre-recession peak. The FBI released its list of states with the most reports of violent crime per capita and Nevada ranks second overall behind Tennessee, near the top of the list for robbery, car theft and burglaries. Experts in criminal justice are warning people not to read too much into these stats because this is just one snapshot of crime in the state. It's not a full picture of how safe you are in Nevada. For example, violent crimes are just a small percentage of total crimes committed. If you look at another type of crime, property crime, which is committed much more frequently, Nevada is in the middle of the pack, ranking 23rd among 50 of the states. If tourism were controlled for in the study, Nevada would rank much lower. The Division of Public and Behavioral Health is pleased to announce improvements in the state's childhood immunization rates. The newly released 2012 National Immunization Survey shows that Nevada's immunization ranking improved from 40th in the nation to 39th for vaccine coverage in 19 to 35-month-old children. There is a correlation between the increase of immunization rates and the use of the statewide immunization registry, Nevada Web IZ. Nevada is experiencing positive effects of registry enhancements and mandatory reports reporting statutes for Nevada WebIZ. The law requires all childhood, adolescents, and adult immunizations to be recorded in Nevada WebIZ. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. Thank you very much, Deanna. Well, Valley Electric's bucket truck fire engines, police cars, and Mercy Air were at Home Depot on Saturday. No, not for an emergency, but to teach kids fire prevention. Today we're doing a kids workshop and it's for fire safety. They're getting to build a fire rescue plane along with learning about fire safety, what to do, stop, drop and roll. We got the fire um, department out here. We got Valley Electric, we got DARE. We got a bunch of volunteers out here teaching them, you know, what they need to do. It's, I think it's important to teach them that. Also Mercy Air landed here. Yes, Mercy Air landed in the parking lot. That's amazing. It's their third year running now. This is a lot of fun. The kids get to see the fire engines, get to see the firefighters, and even an old antique fire engine too as well. Yes. What are the kids doing with the balloons? Balloon art. So the volunteers are helping the kids make some things. Yes, definitely. We got Roland um, Bitten out here, ex-firefighter. Um, PETA is out here helping out. So uh, this is all part of uh, the fire safety, like you said. What's coming up next here for Home Depot? For um, Kids Workshop? Mm -hmm. The next one is, I'm not sure what it's going to be. It might be a surprise. I haven't really looked at the rollout for it yet. And so come on by to Home Depot and find out about all the workshops, including kids and adults. Yes. Um, kids Workshop is the first Saturday of every month from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And the age ranks um, 5 to 12. Also, we have the um, adult workshops. Mm -hmm. So it teaches them how to set tile, how to paint, anything and everything. And we have a board set up in there stating them when, what time, who's going to be there. Thank you so much, Carmen. Thank you. And KPVM TV would like to express our deepest condolences to the Wood family for the loss of Christy. Tonight's Prump Valley High School Junior Varsity game, Christy Wood will be honored by the team. Her son Devin Wood in the number three jersey will be playing the game for his beloved mother who passed away just a couple days before she was to see her son play football. This was a wish Christy had held dear to her heart for the past years. 
KPVM TV will be recording the game and giving it to the family in her honor. The team will also be wearing Christie's initials on their helmets in honor of the beloved corrections officer, wife, mother, and daughter who battled cancer so bravely. A chili cook-off and barbecue will be held at the Correction Corporation of America's parking lot on Mesquite Friday afternoon at 1 p.m. All proceeds will go to the family. Well, KTUD Channel 25, Cable Channel 14 will go off the air at midnight tonight. The doors will be closed for good on Friday. Employees were given the bad news in an afternoon meeting. Vegas TV was purchased by Greenspun Broadcasting in 2004. Recent efforts to sell the station for $4 million have failed. And here's Angela Miles with today's First Business Brief. This is the first business brief for Thursday, October 10th. I'm Angela Miles. The Federal Reserve is making way for a new chairman. Wednesday, President Obama named Janet Yellen to the post. She will replace Ben Bernanke. Yellen will become the first female to serve in the role. And Sears reportedly is selling off some of its stores. According to the Wall Street Journal, the retailer has sold some of its profitable stores in an effort to raise cash. A spokesman from the company admits cash from the sales helped cover operating losses. 35% of the wealth in Russia belongs to only 110 people. That's according to the financial firm Credit Suisse. It breaks down to a combined worth of $420 billion, marking one of the largest levels of wealth inequality in the world. The AP reports the fall of communism led to the distribution of wealth among only a small club of businessmen. That's the First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. Well, this morning we had a little bit of chills, wind, yeah. and just a little bit of sprinkle, I felt, mm -hmm. you know, which is the turtleneck going, you know, but um, <laughs> now that we have the sun out. <laughs> well, it's kind of um, unusual that we have such a rainstorm like that because we normally have uh, the summer thunderstorms, but mm -hmm. uh, just to have straight rain where it's not passing passed us quickly exactly. was unusual, and we had quite a bit of it yesterday. Um, I don't know what the... Uh, forecast is going to be especially for tonight's game it might be a little chilly it so. might be a little chilly so just you know if you're going to go take your sweater yeah. take a jacket maybe even an umbrella just in case it rains there you go <laughs> well we'll find out all about the weather with Noah Began when we return News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today we have partly cloudy skies with a high of 66 degrees and an average temperature of 83 degrees. Winds will be coming from the southwest at 6 miles per hour with gusts up to 13 miles per hour. The UV index is 6 today, which is high. Humidity is at 37 percent. Sunrise was at 647 a.m. and the record high in 1996 was 97 degrees. Tonight we have clear skies with a low of 44 degrees and an average temperature of 61 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southeast at 2 miles per hour with gusts up to 5 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 58 percent. Sunset will be at 6.14 p.m. and the record low in 1961 was 40 degrees. Tomorrow we have sunny skies with a high of 72 degrees and a low of 47 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 3 miles per hour with gusts up to 5 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 37 percent. Sunrise will be at 6.48 a.m. and the UV index will be 6, which is high. For our seven-day forecast, looks like a nice, bright, and sunny week. Your high temperatures will be ranging from the low 70s to the mid 80s, and your low temperatures will be ranging from the high 40s to the low 50s. Well, Utilities Inc. employees will be washing vehicles for a donation to benefit the Pahrump Junior Trojans Wrestling Club Saturday, October 12th from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. in the parking lot of the Draft Picks located on the corner of Highway 160 and Postal Drive. For more information or to donate, call Ken at 775-764-0321. And that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. 
And I'm Monique Mitchell. And from everyone up here on the Hill, including weatherman Noah Began and our new technical director, Max Burlake, we wish you a wonderful night. We'll see you again here tomorrow night. Pro.